Welcome back, or welcome if you're new, to my channel. I am Benedetta, and today we're gonna make something different, finally, at least I think finally, from Italian recipes. As some of you might know, at the beginning of this year, I moved to Zurich in Switzerland. And I think it's a great thing to explore a little bit more the food culture of the land, the country where we live. That's why I thought to show you how to make Knöpfli, also known sometimes as Spätzli even though they're a little bit different. The ingredients are the same, but knöpfli are made in a different way, let's say kind of grated, while spätzli are cut by knife. So, to make knöpfli, you need the knöpfli tool. It's kind of a big grater uh, with quite big holes and a plastic spatula. I'll leave uh, maybe some links in the description box down below, from Amazon maybe, to show you other Knöpfli tools. The preparation is super easy, and Knöpfli, when fresh made, are great uh, to be paired together with meat, maybe game. But if you have some leftovers in the fridge, you can simply warm them up together with uh, cheese, alpen cheese, or also to make a sort of uh, oven pasta. As always, you can find the ingredients amounts in the description box down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to support me. Leave also a comment with a request for future recipes, doubts, questions, anything. And now I would say let's move to the stove. Place in a bowl the knopfli flour, which is at the end durum wheat flour. Then all-purpose flour, a mixture of milk and water, salt and free eggs. Whisk everything together, you can use of course also the electric whisks, until the mixture will result smooth, sticky with some bubbles. Then let it rest for 30 minutes. Meanwhile, let's bring to a boil some salted water. Once the mixture has rested, let's place the knöpfli tool on the top. Take a ladle full of the mixture and pour it on the knöpfli tool. Help yourself with the spatula and gently press the mixture through the tool. Knöpfli don't need that much time to be ready. So remove the tool, check the dough, and when the dough comes up to the surface, remove the knöpfli and place them into a baking tin or into a plate. Repeat the process until you finish the wall mixture. As I said before, you can use knöpfli right away or place them in the fridge and they will be fine for a few days with no problem at all. Before serving a knöpfli, I suggest to fry them into a pan with some butter until they get a golden brown color. And your knöpfli are ready to be sorted! Thumb up if you liked this recipe and buon appetito!